Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video, I am finally going to be reviewing the ColourPop Luxe Glosses. I know you guys have been waiting for this video from me, but there was a delay in my shipment and then once it arrived, I wanted a week to just try out the formulation so that way I can come on camera and give you guys my honest thoughts. But I just quickly wanted to say before we get started, in case some of you guys are going to skip to the swatches, I just want to say that my lips are not in the best condition ever since my last lip swatch video which was on the Colourpop Luxe Velvet Liquid Lipsticks. Since then my lips have not been in the greatest condition. It is a lot better since that video but it is still quite bad and I think you guys will see that in the swatches so I'm just hoping that you guys can just focus on the actual lip swatch and not on my lips. They are dry, they are flaky and you guys will probably see that and it just doesn't look good. You guys have been waiting for this video and I didn't want to wait any longer just because I don't know when my lips are going to be fully cured and healed. And I also want to note that I am only swatching on my actual lips. I didn't use any lip liner or any other lip products underneath because I personally like wearing my glosses just straight onto my lips. I don't like applying it on top of other products because it just feels too gumpy and thick. But that's just personal preference and I wanted to let you guys know at the intro of the video. So with the longest intro being done, let's just jump straight into my review. So jumping straight into some product info. This is a new formulation from Colourpop. It is adding on to their Lux family. So we have the Lux lipsticks and the Lux velvet liquid lipsticks and now the Lux glosses. These are eight US dollars each and there are eight shades in total. I actually only have seven of the shades with me today. I am missing Blissful because when I was purchasing all of these it was sold out because I think when they launched it they were having a sale or something and I missed the sale so yeah, I am missing one shade. I am planning to pick it up with my next order, so I will show you guys in a future video or something like that. But pretty much the claim that Colourpop has for these new Luxe glosses is that it is a cushiony soft lip gloss that delivers obsession-worthy shine and hydrates lips with the best feel-good antioxidants for your best-looking lips. Since these have been out for a while, I have heard really great things about them. If I could describe the new formulation, I would say that it feels like a lip balm. If you guys have used the Bite Beauty Agave lip balm, it's a very thick lip balm. And if I were to just to close my eyes and if I was just to rub my lips together, I feel like it feels quite similar. It is sticky, obviously, because it's a gloss, but it's not sticky where your lips are like getting shut together. It's a very comfortable sticky, if that makes sense. And I think for those of you guys that are not really interested in glosses, you don't like glosses I think this is a good introduction into a lip gloss because it's not so sticky where it's annoying but it's very comfortable on the lips and it's not the most high shine lip gloss but it definitely gives you a shine of a gloss. I personally love glosses. It's one of my favorite formulas to wear on my lips and I love this as well. So I think it's satisfying people that love glosses and people that don't. I mean if you love a really juicy juicy gloss you're not gonna really get it from this. If you want a juicy gloss then you should use the So Juicy glosses from Colourpop. I do think the initial eight shades um, I don't know, could have had a bit more range. I think a lot of them do look quite similar to each other, but I'm sure they are gonna come up with more shades in the future. I know there is two glosses in the Making Mauves collection, which I am going to pick up this Friday, along with the Mulan collection as well, which I am so excited for, by the way, but we're gonna talk about that in my review video later in the future. There's also a bit of difference in the formulation with the glosses. Some of them have glitters in it and some of them don't. They just are an opaque gloss so there's a bit of variation between that. Also another thing to note is the applicator. This is a new applicator. It's like a fatter applicator for their glosses and I do like this. I also like their brush tips as well but this is like a very thick applicator so it's just very easy to apply. This is a product that you don't need a mirror. You can just put it on the go and it looks good. I do want to note that one of my glosses this packaging, I don't, I don't know. I <sighs> the stopper got stuck. 
I mean, sometimes it comes loose and it comes back down, but I will have to buy another one of the shade Dream Queen. And Dream Queen is one of my favorite shades, and it's just a bummer that this is the one that had to like fall apart on me. But pretty much I cannot close it because the stopper got stuck in the lid. I do like this packaging, but it is actually quite hard to close. Like you have to put a bit of pressure. When you open it, it pushes up. So you need to like really squeeze it down to close it. Maybe if this didn't happen to me, I probably would not have even noticed it. So yeah, I don't really know what else I can say about these glosses. I think they are comfortable. They're obviously very hydrating on the lips. And I really do like the texture and feeling the weight on my lips. Very comfortable. So yeah, I am a big fan of these. I think with that being said, we can just move into the lip swatches first. And then once you guys have seen all of the glosses on me, I will give you my favorite shades and my recommendations. Okay, so that was the 7 Luxe Glosses swatched on my very dry lips. Hopefully that was bearable to watch and my lips don't look too bad. I feel like maybe the lighting might have helped my lips look a little bit better. Hopefully. So out of the seven glosses, I have two favorites. And I did mention earlier that Dream Queen, the one that broke on me, is one of my favorites. This would have to be my second favorite. It's a very nice peachy everyday gloss and I just think it's so flattering. It is an opaque gloss and I do prefer an opaque gloss over a shimmer gloss. So this one is definitely up my alley and it's just a big bummer that this one broke. So I'm definitely going to pick up a new one. But my all-time favorite out of all seven would have to be slow motion slow motion is just my gloss i think it's so perfect it's the gloss that i'm wearing right now as well this one's a little bit more on the like terracotta side dream queen is a little bit more peachy and again this is an opaque gloss which i do prefer so slow motion like if i had to recommend one slow motion is the gloss for me so these two shades would have to be my favorites and the ones that i would highly highly recommend it to you guys but some other honorable mentions that i want to share is tied up i think tied up is super pretty but this one does have specks of glitters in it so it's going to give more of like a metallic gloss sheen i do like the undertone and the shade of this if this was an opaque gloss then this would definitely be in my top favorites as well but because it has a bit of like glitters in it and although those glitters are very subtle. I do prefer like an opaque gloss. And then my other honorable mention is Just Cuddle. I personally don't like this on me on my bare lips but I think for someone that has fairer skin this could be your like everyday perfect gloss. It's like a very nude creamy gloss. I mean all the shades are very pretty. Some of them do cross over and look quite similar but I think all the shades are quite pretty but 
Dream Queen and Slow Motion would have to be my favorites. So now that I have given you my recommendations, we can move into the comparisons. I do own quite a lot of the ultra glossy lips, so I am going to compare some of them for you guys. These are not dupes, these are just comparisons for your knowledge. So let's jump into the comparisons. So this, you guys, is going to conclude today's lip swatch review video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and it was worth the wait. If you guys did enjoy the video and found it helpful, be sure to give the video a thumbs up for me. I would appreciate it so much if you guys did. Let me know which shade is your favorite and if you guys have purchased this new formula, what do you guys think of it? I would love to hear your thoughts down below. But that is going to conclude today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!